So we're walking along, it's in the morning. It's the dawn has just broken through and it is really delightful to be walking along in the forest in this way. And together we say glory to God. Mm-hmm. Glory to God. The heart wants to express what is this God though? I say the God is the allness, the all encompassing, the only one, there is not two. Maybe goes by different names. As I said before, uh, ignorant people imagine that we are worshipping different gods. But in truth, we are all worshipping the one same God differently, in different ways. Let each one meet God in their own way. Like we say, let us not say what God is or what God is not. It is better that we direct your attention inside and keep quiet until you discover your Lord here. Because God is the inmost being, the inmost spirit, but it pervades everything, everything. Whether you want to call it he or she or it, or the allness or the isness or the suchness or the Tao or whichever way, it matters not. And uh, as Lord Krishna spoke, you know, in a way voicing on behalf of uh, the, the Supreme, he says, in whichever form human beings worship God, all worship comes to me. Meaning, not me, Krishna, but me, uh, the Supreme Being, the Supreme Spirit. You see? So, what to say? And Jesus say, I and my Father are one, meaning not equal, but I'm in harmony. I'm in God and God is in me. We need not give an image to God because actually God is imageless, beyond image. The supreme intelligence that is encompassing everything and pervading everything. So I don't see anything outside of God. And gradually the seeker comes to find that they lose their localized consciousness, which is taken on the mode of a person and is very limited, and so it's full of idiosyncrasies, full of judgment, full of insecurities and fears, and becomes expanded. The consciousness then appears to be expanded to be as full, as complete. We are free from egoic limitations and ideas. And move. The more you discover your own formless origin, the more you know God in the heart. And we still have the sense of individuality, which is fine also. It's like you are the individual and the universal. You are the doer and the non-doer, and beyond also. We are discovering this. What amazing, amazing, delicious sweetness to discover in the field of harmony. Nothing left out, no one prejudiced against. It's just a field of harmony, and the perfume of this field is joy and just unbroken peace and undiminishing, indescribable. Love and openness and wisdom. This is our perfume when we are free from the grip of egoic identity and the psychological mind and its conditioning. You see? Again, we speak of God, the great, the great silence, the great being. There is actually no word that can encompassing encompass what it is. We can only speak intuitively and use words as a kind of metaphor, a symbol, because it is beyond all of these, all of these, but not beyond in terms of distance, but beyond in terms of subtlety and purity. And yet, it is not apart from. This is the paradox, you see. But for whom? Let each one just begin to even say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, 
Thank you. Maybe in the beginning we're not sure because the mind is very rigid and very ungrate, ungrateful. But you start to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to existence, thank you to God, thank you to life, thank you for the senses, thank you for the ability to contemplate you. And gradually it will grow into a, a tremendous shower of grace and blessings. I wish all just peace and uh, full love in the recognition, in the increasing recognition of that which is timeless and imperishable, that pure awareness in the hearts. Thank you, thank you, thank you.